telling you before you listen to Imam Ali Adna. We have been telling you some truths. Truths that he used to share the whole Quran state and the Nigeria with. Because our Imam of today, he used to be a broadcaster at uh, the radio for in the lorry. And from there, Alhamdulillah, Allah bless him to further his studies at University of Illinois, where he got his master's and PhD. Imam Ali Aga is not just an imam, but he's also a PhD holder from Arabic and Islamic Study University of Illinois, which means that he is an authority. He's an authority in the field of Arabic and Islamic studies. By this, we are having the opportunity to listen to our Sheikh, Imam Abu Bakri Ali Adha. We pray to Allah to make it easy for him, to make it easy for everyone of us, and to accept all this as an act of ibadah from him and from everyone of us. كبر الله كبر الله كبر الله We ask Allah to be with our Shaykh May Allah give him long life بسم الله إنا أعطينا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطينا القصر فصل لربك وعنا إن الشان يحوى إن شاء الله رحمن We're going to have the opening dua from Imam Suleiman. Shalom alaykum wa alaykum wa alaykum. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Sayyidina Muhammad. Ashadu la ilaha illallah wa hadahu la sharika Allah. Wa ashadu anna Muhammad al-Habduhu wa rasuluhu. We thank God for today. And we ask Almighty God to be with each and every one of us throughout this occasion. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <laughs>
wherever I find myself, even if I'm armed with prepared lectures, the atmosphere, the situation always change my focus, which it has happened this afternoon. And I believe that is where Allah wants me to make certain remarks. It's not, I'm not going to read a prepared lecture any longer, but I will just make short comments on the portions read by my two 
inshallah, eminent scholars tomorrow. But I will be an ingrate if I fail to make some remarks showing appreciation and giving thanks to those that deserve it. The Imam of the Masjid and all the leaders of this community, probably when my name was mentioned, very few, very few will say that we know him. But for extending this golden invitation to me, despite the fact that we have never met, it will be tantamount to an act of ingrid, so to say, if I fail at this introductory as part of my speech, to thank the Imam most sincerely and all the leaders of this Muslim community and the entire Muslim members of this community. I thank you most sincerely. I show my gratitude and appreciation for this golden opportunity extended to me. Secondly, my good friend that is sitting beside me, Imam Abdurrahman Adishaku, I was overwhelmed when he insisted that he would follow me to this gathering. The reason is that I will not say something new, which probably he doesn't know. For the past three years that I've been coming to their community, Houston, towards the last 10 days of Ramadan, he would be there listening attentively as if he doesn't know or he's hearing all that I will say for the first time. I say, Jazakallah khair. Please, permit me. If I single out an individual in this community, when I first sat down here, I felt uncomfortable until this elder scholar was asked to join us in this high table. I'm talking of Dr. Yusha Osadik. He came to our university as a visiting lecturer sometimes last year. All the professors and we, the young lecturers, we were assembled, we were ordered by the Vice Chancellor to listen to these elder scholars and this elder scholar of yours. We were overwhelmed with his knowledge. When I saw him here, 